Hi, it's Mary Louise here, the Danish painter, and welcome to my video. Today I'll be painting a loose acrylic landscape painting on paper. The subject will be an early morning sunrise over the sea, one of my favorite topics to paint, and inspired by a place um, just about five minutes drive from my house. I'm using a very limited color palette so uh, if you want to know what the colors are please check the description I'll list everything down below. If you have seen some of my other videos here on YouTube you probably already know that my painting style uh, the way I use acrylic paint is quite different from a lot of other painters. I tend to use a lot of very thin layers and then build up the layers, um, kind of like glazes. Or if you're familiar with watercolor, it's almost a technique uh, that uh, is used in water watercolors where pigment and layers are built up over uh, over time. I uh, do have a background painting uh, in watercolors, so perhaps that's uh, one reason why I, uh, I'm using my acrylics uh, like this. Another reason is when I was younger I, uh, and a student, I didn't have a lot of money for art supplies. So, um, I guess I developed this way, uh, trying to save on paint. Um, and uh, anyway, I um, I know it's not um, a common way to use acrylics, but uh, maybe it can uh, inspire you to uh, use your acrylics uh, in a different way than you normally do. And if you're interested to see some more tips and techniques on how to use your acrylics like watercolor, I did a video on that um, that I'll link to in the upper right corner now. It's called Watercolor Techniques Using Acrylics. Using a limited palette is very useful to create all these harmonious grays uh, that go so well together in this painting. And uh, it's practically impossible to mix a color that uh, doesn't fit in uh, with the rest. Do you use a limited palette? And if you do, which are your go-to colors? Let me know in the comments below. Another thing I do quite often when I want to create harmony in my paintings is to use the same colors in the sky area and in the ground area. So I'm kind of I'm using them in both places, not necessarily um, as pure or as strong, but, but a different version. So if I have um, warm colors in the sky, I would want some warm colors in the ground and vice versa. It just, uh, it kind of brings it all together. I have been getting a lot of really excellent questions on my videos, so thank you for that and just please keep them coming. I always try to get back to everybody um, one of the questions that comes up quite a lot lately is how I fix my paintings on paper if I do anything to them um, and the answer is uh, no I uh, just I keep the works on paper in either my sketchbooks or in uh, folders asset free uh, folders until I have them framed uh, with mat and uh, behind glass 
because uh, if I do want to hang them on the wall, they do need protection. Um, so uh, the best way is to frame uh, behind glass. I'm doing this painting mostly from memory and uh, what struck me um, as I watched uh, the sunrise was this soft grays of the sky and this point just before the the sun rays um, light up everything so you don't have any real colors as such it's all bathed in soft grays and just beautiful uh, calm uh, colors if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up or sharing it with a painter friend it really helps me out a lot and that way the video may also reach and help more painters out there and as always thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video